to do this, first we draw the actor that represents the user of this application. Then we place the actor at the top of the diagram. The actor will interact with movies.jsp, so we draw an object of movies.jsp. And place it beside the actor. Then we draw other JSP object which is redirect1.jsp. So this is the form that will display the information to be edited. The form will interact with the servlet. So we include movie redirect servlet. And place it beside redirect one.jsp. Then we include movie data manager. This is the class that is responsible to manage all the movies information. And place it beside the servlet. We will include success page, which is success page.html and then place it beside movie data manager. Now we have all the components. We start by defining the interaction between the actor and movies.jsp. So the actor will select the movie The selection will create a get method where ID of the movie will be passed to redirect1.jsp This page is interacting with movie data manager which is to retrieve the selected movie using the method getMovie and pass movie object. And movie data manager from the method of get movie, we return an object of movie. When the user clicks save, the form will be processed by movie redirect servlet. So movie redirect servlet will invoke a method in movie data manager, which is edit movie, and sorry, which is update movie, then pass the movie object. If the operation is success, a true flag will be written to movie redirect servlet. And the container will redirect the servlet to success page.html. So that's what we see on the browser. So that's how we reverse engineer the whole business process for edit a movie. Based on that, I hope it will help you to design the flow to delete a movie.